Good morning, everyone out there. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you live from Bozeman, Montana. Today is September 17th, 2024. If you're watching later on, it's always nice to know what year it is. Um, it's a dark day here. It sort of looks like it's going to rain any minute. It's quite dark. Um, it's 56 degrees, and it's not going to get very warm today. Let me just check my uh, iPad to see if we're going to be transmitting. Oh, found myself fast. That was good. And now we'll just wait for people to comment. Takes a little bit of time to find us. Let's see. One sec. There we go. And those of you who are watching, if you enjoy it, thumbs up is always great. It's great for the analytics for uh, Facebook and hearts and comments. I always read, love reading the comments. And be sure you subscribe, set your notifications, all those things that you're, that you're um, notified when we go live. So today I have, um, I can see some people are watching, but yo, there you go, Stacy. Good to see you from Florida this morning. Oh my goodness, we've had quite a day. Uh, thank you for sharing. That's always so sweet of you. I always appreciate sharing. Well, first of all, I'm wearing glasses because I have a sty in my eye and I'm not supposed to wear my contacts. But I thought I would put them in. I've had it now for a couple of days and I have some medicine from my eye doctor. And I thought, well, I'll just put my contacts in for an hour for the Facebook Live. But my husband and I and my sister, Chris, and her friend have been here for the last three days. And um, they been, they were at a dude ranch in Montana, in northern Montana. And they, after the week was over with, they came here. They're flying out this morning, soon, um, from the airport here in Bozeman, because it's easier and cheaper and all that. Anyway, so we all went out to breakfast this morning, about quarter to eight. And we got home, and my cleaning lady was in an absolute panic. One of the girls that was cleaning the bathtub had turned the faucet on and all of a sudden the faucet blew and this geyser of water, just the water pressure flew all over everything, like just like a geyser. And it was all over the floor and going into the basement vents. And, uh, you know, she, Mike, the head cleaning gal, um, anyway, called the contractor. We weren't home yet. And she called the contractor and then he came over, rushed over and turned off all, they turned off all the water in the whole place. He actually turned off the well that pumps the water. So we have no water anywhere. Um, anyway, it's been, so um, I was going to put my contacts in, but then I couldn't do it because there's no water at all. So anyway, that's, uh, we've had a fun few days here with my sister Chris and her friend Connie. And we've been busy, busy, busy. It's been great weather. Oh, hey, Kathy, I'm safe driving to you to go to Colorado. We'll miss you this week. Um, but anyway, it's been quite a start to a day today. So anyway, that's the reason for my contacts. And then we have no water in the house anywhere. So um, they're still waiting on the plumber to arrive. And hopefully they're going to get everything worked out. Hope there hasn't been too much damage done to the drywall with the water dripping down from the bathroom floor. Apparently it was covered. Anyway, they got it all mopped. I haven't seen that part of it. Didn't see it, but I'm glad it happened to them and not to me. Um, anyway, so I have a lot of fun things planned for today. Um, we're going to be using dyes that make frames and we're using the splendid autumn paper paper but before we do that before we start um turn the camera down i want to remind you maybe you've seen it already and maybe some of you get my emails and if you're not on my email list please let me know because that's how i announce my specials my classes what what's happening with stamping up so um let me if you know if you're willing i'd love to put you on my email address uh, my send out with constant contact. Anyway, uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow, uh, the 18th, is free shipping for 24 hours. It starts tonight at midnight and it goes until tomorrow night at 11.59. So um, it is a perfect, it's a $75 minimum free shipping on $75 or more. It's a perfect time to shop. So make your list today. And I want to tell you about a couple of things that... Um, you can order from, obviously you can all order from the new annual catalog that came out in May. So that's one possibility. You can order from the scrapbooking 
brochure. This is all online. This has lots of new paper, lots of stamps, and lots of things for scrapbooking. And then we have the um, online exclusives. You can order for those from those. You just go to the Stamping Up website or my website and you go under ordering and there'll be a whole drop down online exclusive scrapbooking brochure. Or you can order from and you can order from the mini catalog. So this just went live. This is just about 10 days ago. So I can't believe it's already the middle of September. But anyway, today we're going to be working out of this um, mostly. And then there were also some new things that arrived the other day to me. One is a new kit from this, um, this, it started in September. These are ornaments. You can make ornaments and they are just exquisite. There are these big rings, metal heavy rings, these beautiful pine cones. They're sort of, they're plastic, but they look like they're, they're very realistic. And it looks like, and then it has all these parts and pieces that you, you know, you punch out. I was going to actually do it with my sister and her friend. We were going to get to it, but we just got so busy we didn't do that. We did. So that is really a fabulous set. It's $25. It's the Christmas ornament. And then the other thing that we did put together, and uh, it was really fun because uh, Chris is my Chris's friend, Connie, had never stamped before, she, so she was thrilled with this whole thing. Um, this card box. Let me tell you what, this is the best $25 you can spend. Oh my goodness, it is amazing. Um, the box comes, it's all, it all comes with, in a, in a box like this, just a, and it's heavy, heavy box. And it just folds out and it's a really good quality, thick, heavy duty card box. And you can see it has um, these little, you put the stickers on and like this, you put the stickers on, I know it's backwards to you. Good morning, LaVon, good to see you this morning. So we put these cards together and I think I, I had my sister and her friend take some home. So I only have, I think I kept four and I think they took, they each took um, three, so six more. I think it makes 10. So this is happy birthday and there are all these sentiments. There's no stamping, these very, very easy cards. And, but they're really pretty and fun. We just added some little gold and we had some bling and um, they're just really, really nice. Good morning, Denise, good to see you. Anyway, if, if you need a place to store your cards um, in a nice a folder with a box cover and everything, this is really a great deal. And I think you will like it. It was so fun. You know, I, of course, I hadn't put it together and they hadn't put it together, but they really enjoyed it. And um, they thought the cards were really pretty and the box is beautiful. So I was sorry we didn't get to, um, I was sorry that we finally, we did not get to um, do the ornaments. We, that requires a hot glue gun and I needed to get that out. So anyway, um, so let's turn the camera down. We've got a lot of things going on today and... Uh, don't forget, free sh shipping tomorrow. So close your eyes, and we're going to turn the camera down. Okay, I have a cookies, cards, and coffee class this Thursday. And these are two cards that we're doing in the cookies, cards, and coffee. And um, they're just, we, we did this one online uh, a couple weeks ago. And then we're doing this one. And this one is going to be for my craft along that's coming up. So my next craft along will you be using the Christmas friends. So just wanted to show you those. And we'll just pick those up for a moment and get those out of here. But if, um, my cookies, cards, and coffee class, that is uh, something that is open to anyone who wants to craft with me. And <coughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm get, get a drink of water real quick here. Um, where is that ring that, I'm going to see if I can cover that up so it's not so, there we go, maybe, does that work? Yeah, that's going to work, I think. We'll put it like that. Um, so I had this card in my, in my classroom up in the other room, and I love this arch, and I hadn't used it for a while, so... 
I thought, well, let's use it again. Let's use, let's do cards that make arches or some kind of frame for your project. And so this, I don't know, let's see, but let's see if we can get this straightened out a little bit. There we go. That won't, that bothers me. I know it bothers you. Hi, good morning, Lisa. Good to see you. Um, so anyway, this was my inspiration from a card that I did uh, several months ago. This is with the meandering meadow paper. But so we are going to be doing some cards that have, this is, I'll show you some other ones. This one I did using, this is the, uh, the greenery for, from the, the one with the reindeer, reindeer fun. That's the same one. Here's the same frame with that. And this was a swap card by Laura Milligan and she stamped the trees, but I love these frames. That was my inspiration. Um, Okay, so we are going to start, we're going to be using the, we're using the Splendid Autumn paper again. I know you've seen me use it quite a bit. It is on low inventory right now. If you want this, I would get it, you might even want to get it today if you don't have it already. We're going to be using that paper today with the Highland Heather and the Gorgeous Grape, and I've used this one on a really cool card. So anyway, um, I love this paper. It's low inventory, and uh, these gems that we're using today for this project, the faux glass dots, these are still back ordered until next week. I think it's the 23rd. So anyway, that's what we're using today. But the first card we're going to be doing is from Grassy Grove. This is a set that's in our annual catalog, and it has this fabulous set of dyes. It has the deer, and it has this big arch that you're going to see in just a moment. So this is a this is a red rubber set. So, and I already have that deer on a on a block. And then we are using oh this is one of my favorites. My simply said this is a great one for very basic happy birthday thank you let's celebrate birthday wishes. It's my it's one of my go tos. But it's a real it's in the very beginning of the annual catalog. And it's just a basic set that everyone should own, I think. It has a nice miss you and a yay. Anyway, that's what we're using for the birthday. So we are making, this is what I came up with. We are using these dies to frame the foliage. And I just think it looks sort of cool. These are the ones I made ahead of time to when I was practicing and I went to see what I was doing. Um, I just love, each one of these is a different uh, designer paper. The designer paper is just, and this was my least favorite designer paper in the whole pack. It's real easy to find the ones that, that you really love. They're, they're, they're just simple. But this one I thought, oh, it's really, really, really dark. But I love it as I'm using it. That's cherry cobbler. And that one has sort of pumpkins on the bottom. But look at this. That's just perfect. That's this one. And um, this one is that one. And then the backs are sort of solids. Okay, so I just chose some. There are a couple others that would work also. So what we do, we're going to be making this one today. So we're going to put that right there. And I'm going to set that there so I can see what I'm doing. And <clears throat> what I did was I took, I took, this is the frame, the die frame that comes you know, you can always, if there's something caught, you can take a hard surface and you can sort of pound it like that. That's a great tip. You can even throw it down and everything will pop out. I didn't mean to actually do that on the air, but uh, you get the idea. Actually, we saw this. One of our um, stamping up executives, I can't remember, I think he was the president at the time. This is many years ago. He was doing a demonstration and there were things stuck and he just he just threw it down on the table. It made the biggest noise and everyone just like, wow, what's happened? Anyway, all the little pieces fall out. You can also use your take your pick tool. But anyway, that's beside the fact. Um, <laughs> thank you, Kathy. So you're gonna take, I cut a piece of designer paper. This designer paper is four by six. So it's this size, like this. This is not the one, but um, I took, I cut it down to three and three fourths by five. And by the way, all the measurements are, they are typed already. I have it all ready to, to post as soon as the video goes, 
um, when I when I'm finished, then I just but a minute later I post all the directions. So um, you'll have those if you just it's under more. But anyway, I took my three by three and three fourths by five, and I die cut it. I just taped it down with some post-it note or some washi tape like that. And then I came, this is what it came out to be. And it looks neat. It's not fabulous, but until you put something behind it, then I think it becomes really, really, really neat. Um, and then my next piece. So I had all these, my inspiration for this was to use something with these deers. We're going to be used, we're going to be doing this card this week in my cookies, cards and coffee. And I had all these deer cut, die cut, because they're just so neat. They're in die cut and espresso. And um, so I thought, well, let's see, what can we do with this? And so I, I had seen some people do things with frames. I thought that was sort of neat. Anyway, we're going to be doing some stamping, and we're going to use some more of the designer paper. I've got some, oop, I've got some dimensional stuck. So I cut a piece of designer paper. This was had some seam down here, but a lot of really pretty blue sky. And that is going to go underneath. So I'm going to just set it right there in case you want to take a screenshot. Um, the cherry cobbler is going to be the mat, and that's four by five and a fourth. My uh, inside of my card is just a basic three and three fourths. And what else do we have here? We have a balmy blue base. So it's five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it four and a quarter. So those are all, if you wanna take a real quick screenshot, you can, and um, that will do it. Otherwise you can wait until I'm finished and you can get all the, the measurements then. So that is it. So we're gonna take, what we're gonna do is take, this white is going to go on the inside. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that on right away and get it out of the way. Most of you probably, we might, most of the time we, we stamp first, but I'm just gonna do it this way, just because um, I'm gonna take that chance. So we're gonna take this this pretty frame that we have today. I love doing these, these cutouts. In fact, my sister actually bought some cards from me that had these, some frames, not this one, but the one with the birch trees. Oh, I did that one a couple months ago, I think, too. That was really neat. So this goes on like this. And look at that. Doesn't that just pop now with that beautiful blue sky? And so let's do, um, let's put some, let's get our Tombow glue out. And we're going to put some liquid glue on this. It would be harder to use the tape runner. I'm going to hold that with my reverse tweezers. And um, but, you, know, you can just dab this on, really. I'm just going to. Put it on like this. I cannot. I can't see as well with my glasses as I can with, with my contacts. But because I have this sty in my eye, I'm it for a while. Yeah, yeah, the last couple of days it was swollen. It's not so swollen today. My eye is not. Um, but anyway. So and I want to thank you all for those of you who have been praying for my mom. She's still holding her own. She's doing. She survived the bad day last Tuesday and we didn't wasn't sure she was going to make it but she's still hanging in there and doing fair not not great but fair anyway there we go and we'll close up our Tombow glue let that dry for just a second just gonna pat that down let's see I don't I don't see any hardly any comments would you all let me know if you're watching let's see what's here now I'm looking on my iPad um, let's just take a second here. Take a look. Hey, Terry. Oh, Gian. Good to see you, Gian. Uh, Lisa. Linda. Good to see you, Linda. Your surgery is coming up. Um, oh, Terry R Rutherford Norton said, you can't throw the dies down with cheap dies, but you can with ours. Our, our dies are very heavy and well made. You, there are some, you know, cheaper dies out there in different um, stamping venues, and uh, there's just a big difference in the quality of the dies. So, anyway, um, we're going to put this. Oh, I see a little bit of blue peeking out there. I'm going to just trim that off. Anyway, I I sure do appreciate you commenting. I appreciate you doing thumbs up, subscribing. 
doing all those things and sharing is just really great. I, I do appreciate that a lot. That's how I, you, you help me grow my, my business channel. So we're going to put this, this is a uh, cherry cobbler. Isn't that pretty? Just like that. I and mean, it's so simple. This card is easy. And we're going to bone fold our blue or balmy blue so it's nice and crisp. And then we're going to put this on with our stamping seal like that. Just like. And we're going to. There we go. And I'm going to just turn that. That's sort of dirty. Okay, now our deer are going to go. I'm going to. We're going to pop up our deer with some dimensionals. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Um, Denise, the, D the DSP is out of stock right now. I just checked a few minutes ago, and it was still in. Right before I went, uh, I went live, I checked, and it said it was still available. It was low inventory, so I don't know. It may have just gone, um, but a few minutes ago, it was still. I'm going to go on the back side of these and use my mini 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 i'll put it like this that way you can sort of see it but i'm going to use my tiniest little minis that i can barely pick up i'll use my take your pick tool and that helps a little bit with the tininess of it well it could be out of stock this paper has been you know it's things go quickly and the prettier it is the more popular it is the faster it goes so um, I would not wait. There are some other things like that sled that has been so sophisticated sled I did a few weeks ago. That is um, not back ordered, but it's on low inventory. The dies are once the dies are on low, you know, they come. The dies, metal dies, come from China, so it takes a long time to get here. Um, so it's I think it's important to order early. I'm going to just cut one of these little tiny things in half, and now we can, you know me, I am I am much more of a big, I like to cut my large pieces, but this will, this works fine too. I think this is a great die for sure. Okay, let's get our deer. This is the mama deer. We're going to put her right there. She's going to, and then the little fawn. We always have so many deer on our property, and we have some nice bucks. And um, but in the last few days since my sister has been here, we have not seen a single, well, we sh I shouldn't say that. We did see one deer, one deer, but usually we see 10 or 15, and we might even see some elk, but we, we have seen nothing. And they were up in um, northern Montana at a ranch, and they didn't see anything either. So we are going to uh, use our little piercing mat. And we're going to stamp our happy birthday. I've got two of these here. And I'm going to use my early espresso. We're going to do let's. I'm going to try to not get my head in there. Happy birthday. These dies, I'm going to do two of them just since I have it out. There we go. Um, these label, these dies with the holes are, oh, it's my favorite. It's Season of Green and Gold. It's the, one of the online exclusives. And then we're gonna, on the inside, we're gonna stamp, um, oh dear, I have put the white on the wrong part. Well, you know what? We're gonna just put another piece right there. We're gonna stamp and that's, you know what? Probably you should you should stamp first and then put things in. Um, we're going to put a deer right there on the inside of our card. And these, that's a distinctive stamp. It's supposed to look that way. And then we're going to do let's celebrate for the birthday. This is just a nice, I think a great masculine. Oh, and it's crooked. Let's, let's start over. <laughs> that's why things have two sides. We're going to start. There we go. Let's celebrate. And we're going to put that deer on there again. We've got plenty of time. There we go. Isn't that a great looking deer? I think it is. And um, there we go. We don't need that anymore. So we're gonna we're just gonna have a lot of writing space for this card. 
We probably should put a deer on the outside of our envelope too. Let's do that while we can. And we're gonna just put a deer on this envelope. I have a lot of I have a lot of masculine birthdays in um, October and November. It's our son's birthday yesterday. He turned 44. And um, then our other son's birthday is next month. And they're all hunters. So anyway, this is sort of a fun card, I think, for that, for anyone. And then I have a couple brother-in-laws or son-in-law whose birthday is now. I've got brown ink right there. Hmm. Let's see. We might be able to... Get, take my ink eraser. I don't know. We're gonna just sand it. This is a this. It's gonna be too big of a spot, but uh, it's not too bad. It's coming off a little bit. You're, I'm actually sanding the paper, and it's just gonna have to be just the, that way. And then our card is going to have this on it, on um, the side that's not. This is the side that I stamp crooked. <laughs> Do you ever stamp crooked? Oh my goodness, that's a good thing about paper. Most paper has two sides. There we go. So now there's plenty of space to write here and there. You can be long-winded. And we're going to put our happy birthday on. It's going to go, I think, we can go here or there. What do you think? Which do you like better? Do you like it at the top or at the bottom? Which would be your preference? There we go. Which would be your preference, the top or the bottom for this. And we're going to just put a long, I have some of these long, um, I just cut some of the, the strips long, the long way. Uh, let's see, what's everyone saying? Oh, you love this card? Well, thank you so much, Lisa. Uh, top, 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 bottom. Oh my goodness. We have lots of people are making, we have different people saying things. Anyone else? Top, bottom, bottom. I see more bottoms, I guess. So let's do the birthday on the bottom. Um, that'll be slightly different anyway. So that'll be good. We're going to do that. And then we're going to add a couple of our faux gems. And these are Cajun, Old Olive, Crushed Curry, and Pumpkin, I believe. So I think we'll use the... This is actually Sherry Cobbler. But this looks so, so good, I think, with the Cajun. We'll just cover that up with with maybe a bigger, oh, I think we'll, oh, popped off. I think we'll use the bigger one. We we'll use a big one right there. I should have put a dimensional right there in the end. I did not. This one has a dimension under it. There we go. And the card is finished. It is just that fast. I mean, it takes a little bit to, to die cut, to, you know, choose your paper and die cut. But it's pretty fast. It's a pretty fast card. Uh, so the other one that we did was with the on top. This one's on the bottom, and then we have our let's celebrate like that, and our envelope is right here. And let's see, ones what did I? And here are the other ones that we did. I did ahead of time. I did the orange, the pumpkin pie, and the balmy blue. These are all different backgrounds too. So would you have a favorite? Do you like the orange or the red or the blue? Do you have a favorite of those? Anyway, really fun. So take that foliage. I bet a lot of you have that. How many of you have this great, um, you already have the designer paper probably, a lot of you probably do. And some of you I bet have that set of dies from Grassy Grove. So this is the one, uh, Grassy Grove, and it is in the annual catalog. I don't, I think I did not, I don't think I marked it, but I did on the directions. I On the directions, when I typed it, I said what page it's on. But anyway, it's a great set. It comes with two deer, and uh, actually, actually you can stamp the deer and die cut it too. So lots of other trees, lots of great things. It's a good one for sure. We've had it now for two years. So I, I really hope that they will continue it and not discontinue it next year because it's a good one for sure. Okay, the next one that we're going to be doing is um, a card, again, with this whole frame concept in mind. We're not doing that card, but we are doing 
We are using the Garden Meadow, the Garden Meadow, and let's see if I can cover that thing up, right, where that little, that, I can see that ring. I, I should, I've thought about even moving, taking my glass mat and putting in a different section of the room, my, my standing station. This is my seated space station. Um, you have to bundle, so you're going to be able to create these. Well, good for you, Stacy. Good. Um, so this is the Garden Meadow. It was a, it's a online exclusive. It's still available. The paper is still available too. Plus, I thought I would use it with this new paper. So I love this arch with the radiating stitches on it. It's just really a good one for sure. And so that is what we're using. And this is what I made for one card. And we're going to make a completely different looking one. We are, again, using, we're going to be using, so this paper, let's see if I can find that paper. This is the one we're going to use today, one with the uh, purple daisy, say almost look like um, some, I don't know, cone flowers maybe. This is the one I used today, and the back of it is uh, that pretty, there's the heather on that one, but aren't they nice? And... So we're using that, and then I had, I for this one, I had a piece left over, and I created this. This is what I used after I die cut that. Isn't that great? Oh, hey, Jeannie, thank you. Oh, no, you're, you can call stamping up. Is that what you're talking about? I'm not sure. But anyway, this is what I this is from the Shepherd's Care. This is back in stock. It was out for a while and it's back in. So um anyway, just letting you it'll go fast. I'm sure by tomorrow it'll be sold out again. So anyway, that's what I made with the with the leftover piece. Okay, let's see what we can do today. And I have used the wonderful exposed brick. For my dies, like that. It's a great one. This has been in the catalog for a little bit. And we are going to take our, um, so what, what I did was I die cut from this big piece, I, cu I die cut a section like that. And then I what I did, so I, I did this, so I have this piece. We'll use that one later. Then I took my white mat. I had a white mat that was four inches by five and a fourth. And I ran, I, well, I, I have a couple of them here. I ran it through that embossing folder. This is the brick one. That, okay. And then the other one that I tried was this one. And this one is called the... Uh, Dashing Designs. Hey, Becky, good to see you this morning. Dashing Designs. I'm not as wild about this one. I like that one a little bit better, but we could we could definitely try it. Um, I think that would, would be nice, too, but I, I sort of like the, um, the brick one better. I think we'll, we're going to just stick with the brick because I like it. Okay, and what we're going to do... Now, you need to tell me, though... I did my other card on the Gorgeous Grape, and we're going to use that Gorgeous Grape ink. But we could also do it on white, white on white. So should we give that a try this time, do you think? White, or would you rather have me do the purple? So what we're going to do is, I'm going to have to wait a second, I think, um, to see what you all say. Um... I really, well, let's just, let's just do, um, and this is just a basic five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Oh, uh, let's see what you, you said, grape. Um, thank you for sharing, Becky. Um, oh, I think, yes, thank you. Um, let's see, should we do the grape? This is what it's going to, I'll tell you what it's going to look like. We'll just sort of do a dry fit. So this is the grape like this. You tell me, do you want me to do the grape or should I do the white? The white is like this. Like that. White or grape? 
So on the card that I was inspired to case of my own, I had done, this is very vanilla. So this is very vanilla on very vanilla. Love that. I can't find my stamp. I, I had it all mounted and, and I always had it sitting, but now I've lost it someplace. But so which do you like, grape or white? Let's see, Lori says white. Diane says grape. Terry says grape. Lori, white. Sherry, grape. Kathy, grape. Becky, grape. Oh my goodness. Let's see, Janet Clark, white. Oh, it's fun to see all these different. I don't know. It's really hard to know, isn't it? I really like like both of them. I don't know. Let's see once what we have here. One, we have one, two, three, four. We have more grapes than we do white. So we'll do, we're gonna do grape, and then we're gonna do a white inside. If I can find the white inside. I don't know if I have it. I do have it someplace here. There it is. There we go. And there's the inside, we're gonna do that. So this is for, whenever I do a class, I like to make sure that both the inside and the outside are the same measurement so ladies don't get confused. So then I die cut one and then the one is gonna be for the inside. So we're gonna just get that out of the way and put it on our card, hopefully in the right direction this time. So we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna just set it in there, quarter inch base. Okay, now we're going to um, put our, I'm going to, uh, I think I better use my Tombow on this one. Because anytime you have, it's a little bit rough whenever you have it on the emboss, the, the embossing. And this will give me just a little bit more wiggle room. So I'm going to pick it up. Sounds like maybe the plumber has arrived. So I hope that they can get things figured out and we don't have too much of a mess in our basement where the water probably leaked, went down some of the vents. Okay, we're gonna press that in place like that. And then this is my, um, isn't that a pretty backside? You could even stamp on that side. It would be pretty when that shepherd right there too, wouldn't it? But we're gonna do this meadow and we're gonna just uh, put it in there. You could pop it up. And um, there we go. We're gonna we're, we're gonna keep it flat. And it's a very very simple card. Both of these cards this week are easy cards for sure. And um, we're gonna get our little dies out. We're going to stamp a happy birthday again. We're going to do this one on the flagged um, on the. Uh, Um, what's it called? I don't know. The not nested essentials. The um, I don't know what it's. I can't remember what it's called. Craft essentials or something. But anyway, it's the one with the circles and the squares and the uh, these flags. And this is the happy birthday. This is one of my favorite happy birthdays. Let's see if I can stand up. Oh, I think I'm way too low. Oh, I think it's just fine. Just fine. Okay, and let's see. Um, take that. And now we're going to put this, we could put it any place like this. And we're going to um, take one of our, I think I'll take my little dish of dimensionals. I think here's one that's just perfect. Might be just a tiny bit long. No, I think it'll be good. We're going to do that. I keep different sizes and shapes in my little custard dish. And then I just pull them out whenever I want. I use my regular dimensions and my minis too, of course. But um, my favorites are the ones I cut up. So we're going to do this. And if that, I'm going to just sort of cross the seam of that arch like this. And now we're going to put some uh, dragonflies and some big birds on. We could do uh, several different things. I did use um, on the other one. Where is my card? Don't know. Here it is. On this one, I uh, this one I put some grape gems down there, and then I put the dragon. I think I'll do the same thing on this one. So we're going to put some some of these um, birds and dragonflies, and this is called 
adhesive back dragonflies and birds and this is a this is an online exclusive and you know whenever you're using i i actually when i'm ordering now i use that little magnifying glass at the top and if you're not sure about what it's called what the exact words are you can just put in dragonflies and type in dragonflies and then this whole thing will pop up or any stamps that have dragonflies so it's really sort of they've made it the easier, much, much easier than it used to be. So we're gonna put a bird up in the sky, right up here, going toward the middle. And then we're gonna take a couple of the dragonflies, put those on also. We're gonna put one by the flowers. I think these are, these are so flat, they just, you don't even need more postage. They're just great. We'll put some, one right up there. I'm gonna put it a little bit further. So it's not in line with a bird up there, like just like that. And um, these I had not used for a long time. These were in the catalog last year. They are called Glossy Dot Assortment. And uh, they're just really very, very pretty with the gorgeous grape and the pool party and berry burst and the yellow curry, I guess, maybe. So we're gonna put a couple of these right on our Card also, we're going to put them right there on the flag, just like that. Easy cards. I wanted to give you something easy to use, but sort of a great concept. I think these frames, anything with a frame makes a great card. I just love the versatility. And then with the other, with that other piece, I was able to take this stamp, this stamp, and do that shepherd. Let's see where that card is. I've got it here someplace in my stack. Um, I just showed it to you. Here it is. I just think it's really a, a pretty one. I did, you know, it was a big, big white center left over. So that's what I made with that. And there's, I didn't put a center in there, inside in yet. And um, oh, I wanted to show you a couple other cards. This is uh, some more of that paper. This is not a frame, but. I just love this paper. It's so fun to use. And I created this pumpkin card with these. Aren't they fun? Just covered a white card with the paper and then I stamped up the pumpkins in the, and, and this is from um, Loveliest Tree, the thank you and the birthday sentiment. Just really fun, I think. Easy, these are really easy cards. And then the last thing I wanna show you is the there's you know, a whole new section of online exclusives in the scrapbooking section. Here's a stamp set, I've not used it yet, but it's beautiful for, for scrapbooking, but I love the Bountiful Blessings. And I just thought it, the leaves are, this is all distinctive, it looks really nice. It's just a great set of stamps. There's some nice paper, I've ordered some of the uh, two-sided paper now. It'll, it should be here in a few days. So anyway, that's it for today. Let's turn the camera back, close your eyes. Thank you so much, Becky, appreciate that. Here we go. Oh, goodness. What a morning we've had. Oh, my gosh. So I, as if you missed my beginning, I, I said we um, I have my glasses on. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate that and the shares. Um, I'm wearing my glasses because I have a sty in my eye for the last several days. So I've had a swollen eye and I had to get antibiotics for it. And then we've had this water main blow in our ba my bathroom and and water all over the bathroom and leaking into the basement so now they are downstairs working on all of that and and the plumber is hopefully here by now and we're going to have some water so we have no water the well is turned off even so anyway uh quite the excitement this morning and my sister and her friend were leaving so they've already left and they're at the airport by now so Anyway, that's it for today, and I will see if any of you are still interested, and if you're living local and you want to come to my cookie cards and coffee, I still have openings for that. Um, and then next week, I will see you on Tuesday, and we're getting I'm getting ready for my retreat, the 26th, 27th, and 28th, three-day retreat at my house and on our property. So looking forward to that, and quite busy, 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 busy typing. Lots of things. I already have everything. Most of the kits are already done, but I have to do a lot of typing yet. So I will plan to see you next Tuesday, everyone. Have a great week. Hope you stay healthy and strong and keep those prayers going for my mom. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a great day.